Alright guys, this time we are doing conversions in the metric system using dimensional analysis. I've got the metric conversion chart up here. Uh, for this, we're going to need to concern ourselves mostly with this power of 10 column right there. Okay, uh, All we do is take a look at what we are going from and what we're going to find the power of 10 on each of the units. Uh, if there's a letter just by itself, that's going to be one of these base units right here. So we see for this first one, we have just an M, which is a meter, and that's a power of 0. And then we have centimeters, the C for centi, that's a power of negative 2. So in order to determine our conversion factor to solve this, we just need to uh, figure out how far apart 0 and negative 2 are on a number line, and they are 2 apart. So our conversion factor is going to be 1 with two zeros because they're 2 apart from each other. Uh, and you always give the unit of the smaller one to this number. So uh, we can see that meters 10 to the 0, centimeters 10 to the negative 2, this being smaller than a meter, 100 centimeters equals one of the other one. Okay, So this is the conversion factor that we can plug in. So we have to go ahead and solve our problem now. They gave us 8.34 meters. And we just fit in this conversion factor that we found, making sure that we have the meter at the bottom so we can cancel, and the 100 centimeters at the top. Then in the calculator, it's just 8. 0.34, oops, 34 times 100. And we can see that our answer is 834. 8.34 meters is equal to 834 centimeters. Okay. All right, let's see, 15.7 centimeters. Well, centi is what we're looking for. We can see that centi has a power of negative 2. Millimeters, milli is the prefix, milli means 10 to the negative third. Uh, negative 2 and a negative 3 on a number line, they are one place apart. So our 1 this time will only get 1 0 because they're 1 apart. Uh, what goes with this 10? Well, it's the unit for the smaller one. And negative third is smaller than negative 2, so it's a millimeter that's smaller. And that's equal to 1 of the larger unit. This is the conversion factor that we will use. Start with the 15.7 centimeters from the problem. Plug in this conversion factor so it'll cancel. We'd have centimeters, so we need the 1 centimeter to go there. And we need the 10 millimeters to go up top. And because they're both at the top, that means that we multiply. 15.7 times 10. 157 millimeters. All right, one more. Uh, this time we have a capital G. We can see that capital G stands for giga. Uh, and giga has a power of 10 to the ninth. Uh, Mg, uh, lowercase m, is a milli, which is a negative 3. Okay. How far apart are 9 and negative 3 on a number line? Well, we have to go through negative 3 to 0, and then from 0 to 9, <clears throat> that's a difference of 12. So that is 1 with 12 zeros for our conversion factor. Or we can write that as shorthand, 1 times 10 to the 12th power. Okay. Now, what does this get? Well, it's always the smaller unit. As we saw in all of these, uh, centimeters was the smaller one here, so that went with the conversion factor. Uh, millimeters was the smallest one, negative 3, negative, smaller than negative 2, so we put millimeters, same thing here. I've got a 9 and a 3, a negative 3, negative 3 smallest, so the milligrams goes with the 1 times 10 to the 12th, and that is going to be equal to one of the larger unit, the gigagrams. Okay, So we can go ahead and plug this into our uh, equation here. Start with 0 0.0002 to 4 gigagrams. Okay. We need the 1 gigagram to cancel at the bottom. And that will give us 1 times 10 to the 12th milligrams at the top. Because they're both at the top, this means multiply again. 
0.00024 times 1 e means times 10 to the 12th and it gives us this long answer for long answers like that it's best to put it in the scientific notation and this answer is 2.4 times 10 to the 8th okay. uh, it might be good to go ahead and view this video a few times it's very systematic uh, again the steps are you find the powers of 10 for each of the units you determine uh, how far apart they are on a number line 0 and negative 2 are 2 apart so 1 with 2 zeros give the smaller unit that number equal it out to one of the larger unit and then that's the conversion factor that you plug in to solve the problem